Welcome to the FlatScan 3D SW installation tutorial. The FlatScan 3D SW is a safety sensor with intentional opening for swing doors. The product is shipped as one module separately or a kit of two modules. The following elements are included in the box. Before installing the sensor, always carefully read the user's guide. To start, prepare the tools needed for the installation. Slide the base of the sensor. Then open the sensor by putting your finger in the hole and pulling firmly in one go. Have a look at the sensor to locate its different parts. The angle adjustment and lock screw, the push button and dip switches, the main secondary connector and the power connector, and the laser windows. Here are some basic principles you should know before getting started. The FlatScan 3D SW can be paired with another FlatScan 3D SW or a FlatScan SW. The installation steps are identical for both versions, but consider the depth of each product to avoid crushing it. The detection field of the FlatScan 3D SW consists of four curtains. These curtains secure the hinge area, the door leaf, and the leading edge of the door, which is deactivated by default. Opening functions via the laser curtains or virtual buttons are also included. To access all functions, the FlatScan 3D SW must be the main module, which means it is directly connected to the door controller. The secondary module on the other side of the door is connected to the main module via the main secondary cable. To connect the main module to the door controller, you have two options. You can use the flexible kit by passing the power cable through the flexible tube and fixing one end to the sensor with the clamp and the other end with the cable cap to the door frame. But you can also pass the power cable directly through the door, which is what we did in this tutorial. Step 1. Mounting. Before mounting the base, make sure the sensor position does not hinder the door movement. Place the sensor base as high as possible to maximise the hinge area. The positioning aids help you to align the base correctly. Using a pencil, mark the position of the holes. Drill the holes where marked. With a wire cutter, remove the positioning aids from the base. Fasten the base with three screws using a screwdriver. The base must be firmly fixed so it does not move or vibrate. You can also use the inner surface of the base to drill and fasten the screws if needed. Drill through the two bases and the door using a 10mm bit to pass the main secondary cable. Soften the edges using a sheet of sandpaper. Take the main secondary cable and pass it through the hole. Position the cable in the notch of the base and make sure it is firmly fixed. Take the module and position it on the base. Pass the cable through the hole on the back of the sensor and connect it to the black connector. Tuck the wires into the notch to avoid crushing them with the cover. Repeat the process on each door wing and on the opposite side. Step 2. Wiring to door controller. On the main module, connect the white plug to the white connector. Make a loop with the wires of the power cable and pass them through the notch, as indicated. Fasten the lock screw firmly with a screwdriver to avoid vibrations during the door movement. 
then close off all the modules. The FlatScan 3D SW power cable has 10 wires. The two additional wires are for the opening functions. Strip the wires and connect them according to the wiring diagram in the user's guide. Connect green and brown to the power supply of the door controller. Polarity is important. Connect yellow and white to the stop command of the door. Pink and grey to the reopen command. Red and blue to the test terminal. And finally, connect yellow black and yellow white to the open command of the door controller. Step 3. Dip switch 1. Stop or reopen. Make sure the setting of dip switch 1 is correct on all modules according to the door side. Switch the first dip of the inner modules to off to ensure the reopen function. Make sure the first dip of the outer modules is set to on to ensure the stop function of the door. If it is not set correctly, change the position. After changing the dip switch, the LED flashes orange. Confirm the adjustment by pressing the push button on each module where the dip switch was changed until the LED stops flashing. Step 4. Teach-in Before launching a teach-in, the door must be closed but still operational. If the door does not close, you can activate the service mode on the main module by pushing the button for more than 3 seconds. The sensor is in service mode when the LED is off. Be aware that during the service mode, the safety of the door is deactivated. Make sure the field is cleared before launching the teach-in. To launch a teach-in, press the push button of the main module briefly. When installing a flat scan on a double swing door, repeat this on the second main module. The LED starts to flash red and green quickly. Wait until both sensors flash green. Position yourself in front of the door and stretch out your arm in front of you. Make an up and down movement to mark the limit of the detection zones and step out of the detection field. The LED flashes red while calculating the width of the door wings. Wait until the sensor flashes green again. The flat scan will open the door automatically to learn the environment, but only if the opening relay has been connected to the door controller. If the door does not open, you can activate a door opening yourself. During the closing of the door, the sensor flashes red. Once the door is completely closed again and the LED is off, the teach-in is finished on all four modules. Step 5. Final steps. If desired, add virtual opening buttons for hands and feet in the detection field. If you require more information about the different opening functions, watch our dedicated capsule. For further fine-tuning by dip switch or remote control, see the user's guide. Check the correct positioning of the different safety fields. If necessary, adjust the tilt angle of the sensor by turning the angle adjustment screw. By turning the screw clockwise, you move the curtain away from the door. By turning it counterclockwise, you move the curtain closer to the door. After changing the angle, always launch a new teach-in and check the correct positioning of the detection fields. Remove the Open Here label from the cover and place the cover on the sensor modules. To open the sensor again, put a screwdriver in the notch at the bottom of the sensor and pull upwards. Always test the complete installation before leaving the premises. Well done! The installation of your FlatScan 3D SW is now completed. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Follow us and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay tuned.